one minute to lift off. Rock report range status. Range green. 54. PLP started. We are now 40 seconds 40, 40. away from the Atlas launch of the Atlas, Atlas rocket. The first time since the Mercury 30, program 30. Sensor that an flight press. Atlas family of rockets has sent a human 25, to space. Status check. Go, Go Atlas. Atlas. Go Sensor. Go Starliner. Go Starliner. Godspeed, Godspeed Bush Bush Sunny. Sunny. 15 seconds. And here we go in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. RD-180 engine start and liftoff. Liftoff of the Atlas V rocket carrying NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams. The Starliner crew flight test is now skyward. Houston, Starliner roll. Roger roll. Starliner beginning, it, or Atlas beginning its rollover maneuver, bringing Butch and Sonny into a heads-up position. Let's listen to the roar of that RD-180 engine and those two solid rocket motors. Approaching Mach 1. The Atlas V now soaring through the clouds above Florida's space coast. You got a good throttle up. And this view from our friend Pete Carson's good with Matt. Max Q Productions. Great view of that initial burn of the Alice's RD-180 engine and the two solid rocket boosters. SRB Jettison is coming up now in just a Good little... SRB burnout. About 30 seconds. Good SRB. About T plus 2 minutes and 20.4 seconds. Good handle. Good handle. Coming up now about 10 seconds away from SRB Jettison. And there they go. Now about two and a half minutes into this first crewed flight test for the Starliner spacecraft. Things are moving nominally with this Atlas V flight. The third time, in fact, was the charm. Coming up next will be the Atlas booster engine cutoff, Beco. CLG in that good trajectory. CLG. It's coming up at about T plus 4 minutes, 28.9 seconds. And a beautiful view of Florida's space coast in the eastern United States is the Atlas vehicle continues its ascent. It's going to be flying just under an orbital trajectory. It'll allow the safest flight path, according to ULA, for the Starliner spacecraft. If something were to happen during this ascent period, it gives the most opportunities for an abort if one is needed. The Starliner spacecraft is capable of doing its own orbital insertion burn, which it will do following separation of the spacecraft. Starliner separation comes up at T plus 14 minutes, 55.4 seconds. That orbital insertion burn coming up at T plus 31 minutes into flight.
And again, we are just now less than 30 seconds away from Atlas booster engine cutoff, Biko. Coming up at T plus four minutes, 28 seconds. The Atlas V's main engine is pulling back to maintain a constant 3.5 Gs of acceleration. ULA also notes that the Centaur dual engine upper stage is beginning its chill down sequence before its ignition comes up. And you see separation. I'm sure it appeared to be a brief loss of visual signal. Those two staging ECAL's open at sublimator rock. ECAL sub 